You cut just as good as Robert. Oh. But Robert's better at sharpening. Just make sure you mark the buttonhole, okay. please, with a divot because my reading glasses are good, but when I'm working now with the light, <laughs> mm. sometimes I can't see the... Yeah, me too. I can't see anything. <laughs> Actually, right now, I, I can't see much. I know. I'm I always can't. like, I just know where things yeah, are supposed I, to go, which is bad. Can't. It's bad that we're both guessing, but yeah. whatever. It comes out the right way. I guess that's uh, because we're old and cool. We don't need to see. We can <laughs> sew jackets blind. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. My customers, they, they, they have no idea. It's like three blind mice mm -hmm. over here. No, Robert is good. No, that's true. Robert he, he don't need He don't need glasses. I know. I don't. Out. I don't know how that happened. My mom until to the day I die, she don't need glasses. Very lucky. Yeah. Mm, not me. I'm like my dad. My dad is really young, like a forty something. Yeah. Same thing like me. It's just not with the glasses. And yet, you can still hit every single hole if you take the stitches out, but you can't see them. That's uh, the funniest part. The, the glasses in the show you. That's why you need the glass. I'm just saying, because we've been doing this together for so long, mm -hmm. you could still hit the holes, and I know you can't see what's, what you're hitting. I don't know how yeah. you do it. I know, because I watch you. <laughs> anyway, it's kind of funny. Forget it. I say, you won't get it. The guy said, okay, you're right. <laughs> he take the jacket, he goes home. Oh my God! The lady said, "Oh my goodness! It drives me like a trip." Because they're really good. They know that this is a natural thing. Yeah. Okay, but some customer they just want like a vinyl finish. Yeah. You know, it's it's different. Well, I just you know I spend a lot of time trying to explain what like a full grain leather and how we work, how we market, how we try to fit the patterns around it, match texture, max match color, but. You know, this isn't production. We're not making, mm. you know, 50 jackets at a time. We make one by one by one. And that's another thing, you know, customers don't understand when you're pulling out. They're like, oh, can you change a liner? Can you make a different leather? Can mm. you do this? Can you do that? And they don't understand that we have to test every machine. We have to test the leather. We have to test the liner. We have to make sure everything is working. And then they're like, oh, this isn't absolutely 100% perfect, 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 perfect. It's like, we didn't make 50. We made one. Yeah. You know? And yeah. one is going to be slightly variable because of the variable variability of the materials, if you ask for all these changes, right? In 30 years ago, I, I we, we sell the stuff to the store, right? You, you're talking about down on Spadina. Oh, uh, yeah. It's a, it's a, we have a customer in the store yeah. is bother the uh, the sales ladies yeah. for three hours. He don't yeah. want to go home. He just want the money back because he say when he wear the jacket, go to the rain, and then he got all the spot, right? Yeah. Da, da, da. Yeah. And then he say, look, I wear the leather jacket from Europe, you know, I always wear a leather jacket. I never have this problem. And yeah. then you have to give me the money back. He just don't want to go home. Because was it your jacket? It's or? my jacket. It's and was big, it suede? No, no. It's a... Uh, natural. Aniline. Aniline natural. They, yeah, natural. So you tell him, just get it wet. It all goes uh, even. So we... You know, we have another brand new skiving machine, a nippy, sitting in the downtown office. And I'm never using it because you guys are doing all the skiving for me. So, I don't know if we need to skive the butt, uh, the, the you tag. You have to, otherwise it's too heavy. At least in one side. Okay, fair enough. The same thing, uh, okay, why you complain the uh, the buttonholes? Uh, yeah, but the machine the wasn't tool. adjusted, right? Yeah. So 
I don't. I know that if it's especially that hand tinted leather I did because of the the hides were very heavy. They were mm -hmm. like they felt like one point three, one point four. So one point four, one point four is too much for the machine, no matter what, mm -hmm. right? Um, you know, the machines are from the forties and the fifties. They're not designed for uh, uh, three millimeters. That's mm -hmm. like like almost halfway to a boot, right? So. I don't know. Everybody is telling me that their shinky leather is heavier than our shinky leather. And I'm like, it's the same tannery. They don't have different... Sometimes. Like a this. No, this. In, there's a range in our hides, right? No, but the range is very small. It's not yeah. that much. The, the last one is, is a little light. You see, on this time, check out yeah. the, the new one. Okay, I, I got it. Where's the new dark brown? This is the new dark brown. It's a really that one heavy. Fe feels 1.3. Yeah, this is a little heavy. It's, it's a little a heavy. also, it's a, how to say, it's a, it's not loose. It's a little stiffer. Yeah. But the problem is, he only have a half, it's good. See, when I cut, uh, before I have one, is cut. This is a half. What are you trying to show me? The leather, okay, yeah. it's half of, of the leather is good, and then the other side. Well, you get a lot of crease. Yeah, crease. but I have customers that like yeah, the, yeah. like the 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 crease, like the. Uh, yeah, the wrinkle one. That, the wrinkle. That, that's why for me sometimes I. Have but to this is belly it. here. This yeah, is so. Exactly. I mean, the belly is always going to be a little uh, loose. loose. So There's, sometimes when I cut jagged, I have to cut half here. And then leave the other harbor for the one two at light. Right? Yeah, well that's what we're doing, right? So